Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about two tropical waves, one of which is propagating towards the Caribbean. And models have been sniffing at maybe something tried to become of this system. Meanwhile, another is highlighted as a disturbance by the National Hurricane Center uh, that is given a high chance to develop. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics. And to share support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. All right, and so let us get on with it and go back to satellite imagery. And so uh, we have some activity in portions of the Central Caribbean, and that is being induced by a trough in the region. And well to the east of the Windward Isles, we have all of that activity. You might think that that is a tropical wave that is developing, but it actually isn't marked for development and the one that is is noted well behind it and so let's look at these systems close up so first we have this tropical wave here that is headed towards the caribbean and so we see that we have a lot of activity with the system. We see a lot of convection. And so uh, I would say that regardless of this actually being marked or developing, it is going to be making its way towards the Lesser Antilles and will be bringing along with it inclement weather conditions. And so guys, please be aware of that happening. And later down in this video, we'll be taking a look at the timing of the system based on what the models are expecting. But one thing for sure is that it is likely going to be in this week and so as for the disturbance that is off the coast of africa the one that's actually marked it is not yet designated as an invest but it is within this region and it has quite a bit of uh, disorganized and limited shower and thunderstorm activity taking place along with it however there is still that high chance that we could see development as conditions are expected to be conducive within the area and so looking now at the national hurricane center's five-day graphical tropical weather outlook here we have post-tropical cyclone Ian over Virginia and we also have that uh, wave that is marked by the National Hurricane Center for uh, potential development and so Ian might still be uh, producing rainfall activity in the surrounding states uh, in the vicinity of Virginia but the cyclone really is dissipating and it should be off the radar very soon however as for this disturbance here we're seeing that there is a high 70% chance that we could see development of this and the chance has been at 70% for some time now so it hasn't really increased over the last day or so and it is located just around to the south of the Cabo Verde Island and we see that it is not expected to make its way to the west and potentially be a Caribbean threat. So this is not likely to affect the Caribbean. Uh, if it actually develops, it might become a fish storm just being out there and not posing a threat to anywhere in the very near future. But again, there's still that high chance for development. And the next name on the list for this hurricane season is Julia. So if we have this system developing, then uh, it will acquire the name Julia. And then next, we want to go ahead and take a look at how conducive conditions are across the area. And so we're looking at the wind shear and so we have the green that means favorable wind shear, the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable. And so we see that in the vicinity of that tropical wave there is some unfavorable shear but we see that we have some uh, favorable conditions up ahead for it in terms of that wind shear. So the wind shear won't be too strong uh, in the vicinity of the system and that could enable for a bit of development of the system. And then as we take a look now at this water vapor loop. We have the yellow that indicates dry air. Meanwhile, we have the greens uh, that really indicate moisture. And so there we have that tropical wave there. We see some dry air in the vicinity of it. And when we have dry air infiltration in uh, developing systems, we typically have a reduction in all that shower and thunderstorm activity because uh, it is instability that really results in all of that uh, shower activity and the thunderstorm activity but when we have dry stable conditions we typically have less of said activity taking place and so the dry air isn't really in abundance for the system here but we'll see what happens with it as time goes by and so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the various models are expecting in terms of the tropical waves and so we'll be starting out with the GFS model and so uh, we're seeing here that the model is showing that we won't have that tropical wave out in the Atlantic developing until 
until maybe about the middle part of this week. And then it shows that we're going to be having that system headed towards the Caribbean and making its way a bit to the northwest uh, while developing into a cyclone and it's likely going to be bringing some uh, inclement weather conditions, heavy rainfall, maybe some gusty winds to portions of the northeastern Caribbean here. But uh, we definitely have to wait and see what's going to be happening with this because I mean a lot can change and we're talking about something for the not necessarily for the very long term because it is likely to approach the Caribbean this week but uh, there can still be quite a bit of changes between now and then and I mean it isn't marked by the National Hurricane Center but as I said if they see that it's going to be having a chance to really get itself together and become something then it will likely be a disturbance maybe uh, later this morning or sometime in the early part of this week. And then going on to the euro now so we have the browns that indicate dry air meanwhile we have the teal that indicates moisture and so as we head to Wednesday going to Thursday of this week we have the model expecting that we will see the system not really developing but crossing into the Caribbean and then we see that low pressure area associated with it as we head to Monday of the following week but we see that it is crossing over Central America and into the Eastern Pacific and in that case maybe it won't develop until it arrives over the Eastern Pacific uh, providing that favorable conditions are in the area but as for that other wave the model is not really expecting development of that one and finally let us go ahead and take a look at ICON and so ICON is expecting that we're going to be having the system approaching the Lesser Antilles and crossing into the Caribbean by Thursday of this week and the model shows some development of the tropical wave uh, highlighted out there but as for that one headed to the Caribbean the model is expecting that westward track of it and shows it crossing over the Windward Islands and I would say as I said earlier regardless of if this is actually going to be developing or not if we have a lot of activity being associated with it then and it is likely that we're going to be having increased precipitation across sections of the Lesser Antilles. So if you're there, guys, please be aware of that happening. Uh, and of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated on the system here as time goes by. And so that is really it for now, guys. And so again, to recap, we have this tropical wave that is given a high 70% chance of possible development out there. But uh, we'll see what eventually happens with it. But regardless, it is not likely to bring impact to anywhere really maybe the Cabo Verde Islands uh, might experience some increased precipitation as a result of this but as of it developing and directly impacting somewhere in the very near future that seems quite unlikely for now and then we have this tropical wave here that is approaching the Caribbean and it has quite a lot of uh, quite a bit of convection associated with it and it's likely to bring increased precipitation to portions of the Lesser Antilles once it maintains that activity within the system and so guys, I will be keeping you updated on what is happening as time goes by. And so uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there as well. And so remember to always be with wise.